Oh, I'm Winston Job Magomba. I live in the village, which is about six kilometers from here. Gardening is such a thing that pleases me so well. I do it personally and employ people to work in my gardens. Physically keeping me fit and uh, I really enjoy it, yeah. I do grow rice, maize, cassava, and uh, some bananas, potatoes here and there. Yeah, I'm a retired public servant. I retired as a assistant chief accountant in the office of the president. Two years thereafter, I should say. I was invited by members of the Karonga Development Trust to join them, and I agreed. But uh, I didn't just join as a member, they wanted me to manage their secretariat. At Capital Hotel in Lilongwe, the then chairman for Karonga Development Trust, late uh, Lawrence Mamlema, gave a speech and he was explaining why we wanted the museum project in Karonga. It has a lot of historical artifacts and uh, this was reason enough for us to establish the museum, which will be helping our members of the community to learn much more of the past, the present, and look at the future. Yeah, so that's how the idea of the museum came in. I have some children. Um, the eldest is a manager at Club Makokora in Mangochi. The second is a lady, married, but she's teaching at Mutuntama Secondary School in Kasungu. The third one works for Reserve Bank. The other one is uh, working for PSI. It's uh, a, an organization which has to do with health issues. The last one is still doing some training. Yeah, I only hope he may be employed later. So I have five living children. I am not a polygamist. I only have one wife who is taking care of me. Yeah, and the family and things like that. Yeah, she, is not, she has not worked in her life. All what she's doing is our gardens, taking care of our property and things like that. While I'm away from home, sure. When the EU announced that they were going to fund, what the cadet members did was to advertise, asking for engineers, architects, to compete for this project. Davies, Kevin Davies, came up with brilliant ideas on the museum. He, you can see the roof the way it is. It takes the shape of the neck of a dinosaur. And I remember when we were chatting with Professor Schrenk, he was very willing to have the roof in that shape. Because for one reason or another, he's a paleontologist. He's always talking about dinosaurs. So we managed to get a contractor who would easily do the roof following what we expected you know, of the roof to look like. You don't find a structure like this anywhere in Karonga, Mzuzu, or even in Long and Blanta. It's very special. It's a special tribute to the people of Karonga. The way it was constructed, these pillars you see, the columns you see, have gone so deep. The reinforcement was just excellent, and that's why during the terrible earthquake, the museum was not badly affected. And the bricks, you can look at the bricks. These are soil stabilized blocks. They are not ordinary bricks. The project was very careful. 
you know, not to destroy the environment. When you mow bricks, there are a lot of things that are happening. Apart from digging, you cut trees, you have to burn them, there's pollution and things like that. Yeah, but this project was environment friendly. If you look, there is no view hindrance. Anybody is free to look, to look at the museum. We don't have the fences and you know, it's just open. Anybody comes here anytime. Anybody who is traveling on the road will find that the structure is friendly to the eye. They will want to see what is it. It's, attra it's a very attractive. Anybody, the small school, uh, school going children, cluster along the windows when they are back. So they, at times they have free <laughs> viewing of the artifacts through the windows. Uh, we don't stop them. You see, so this is because of the design. It's allowing, uh, and the people are so happy about that. Yeah. Ideally, we are saying this is an educational institution. You cannot hinder anybody from coming to the museum. Then you are defeating the cause. Our cause is to make information access, accessed by anyone. The range is, is from a child to an old man. And the museum was built, and the question now was, who should manage the museum? Karonga Development Trust decided to form a foundation. And this foundation is called Ura Foundation, a sister group to Ura Foundation Germany. Yeah, so they wanted somebody who should manage. And the board decided I should be the manager. So I've been managing this place from the time it was officially opened to this day.